And let's speak to somebody who would have had first-hand experience of having him as a lawyer working on a case, representing her, representing her family. Uh, Dimpo Hani joins us tonight. Mam Hani, good evening, and thank you so much for your time. Firstly, you, your family has long history with George Bezos. Speak to us tonight about just how you're feeling about his loss. Good evening and good evening, Charlie's Nurse. The person of Uncle George, as I call him, has taken me years back when I first met him. I met Uncle George after the ANC was unbanned. We were staying in Lesotho, so we joined my husband in South Africa. And I had already decided where my children were going to go to study in South Africa. And Chris told me that my youngest daughter will go to a Greek school. And I just lost it. I said, you are not going to send my child there. It's a Greek school, blah, 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 blah. Then he says to me, it's Uncle George Bezos who strongly recommended that Lindia should go to Sahiti. I'm a stubborn person by nature, so a meeting had to be set up with Uncle George. Of course, I had to respect Uncle George, but he did explain to me why he was recommending that school. Then Chris gets shot in 93 by this, whoever his name is, while he calls himself. And Uncle George became my lawyer. First of all, during the case, but there wasn't much because the National Party wanted to deal with that and hide the real killers. I still believe that people who plan my husband's death, most of them are still running around. However, I want to talk about TRC. Uncle George was there for me, for my family, as a lawyer, as a father, as a friend, he fought. He represented me so well. I am so proud. I am happy. Mm -hmm. And moving forward, then these guys applied for parole. I'm telling you, South Africans, if it were not of Uncle George, those guys would be out by now. He fought and fought, you know. He was so passionate. He was happy. He was angry. But he was determined that they're not going to get parole. And I want to use Uncle George Bezos' death that the South African government, through the Minister of Correctional Services and whatever, they should make sure to honor Uncle George, make sure that Walus will never get parole. That's the only way we can honor our hero, our human rights lawyer. He was the best person that God ever created. I'm a witness of that. I am happy, mm -hmm. but we lose people we love. Uncle Bezos died at 92. His birthday was going to be on the 14th of November. When he would be 1092. I'm saying to his family, may God bless you. May God console you. Uncle George, may your soul rest in peace. All those who left before you, may they, may they be waiting at the gates of heaven to welcome you. I strongly appeal to all our lawyers in South Africa to stand up for widows whose husbands have been murdered in cold blood. Uncle George Bezos stood up for me as a widow up to his last time when he retired and handed over to the younger ones. So I am pleading to the ANC-led government that to honor Uncle George Bezos, one who should stay in prison 
in other countries, people who have murdered people like my husband, I'm not saying Chris is special, but he was murdered in cold blood. Mm. Every TRC, yeah. Wallace and his friends were boasting that it doesn't matter even if they kill him because every second a black child is born. I'm appealing to a government. Honor Uncle George Bezos by not releasing Wallace. Yeah. Medimpo, we appreciate uh, your uh, reflection tonight, and thank you very much for that strong message. Hope the government is listening to you tonight.